Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Now the next tool in your web designer toolkit is going to be the eyedropper tool. It's a nice easy tool for knowing which color that you're working with. So it's hiding underneath the ruler tool. Okay, and it should be set to the eyedropper tool by default, but we were using this earlier, remember? So I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool, and it's just really good for picking color. So I wanna know what color this green is, I'm gonna click on it, and you'll notice that up here in my color swatches, it points to it, and here in my foreground color, it selects it. Let's double click the foreground color down here, and you'll notice that we get our hexadecimal number, and this is the number that generally gets used in web design to establish color. There are some other ways to do with RGBA, which we'll look at later on, but you can use these RGB colors as well if you need to. Let's click OK. And that is the eyedropper tool for picking color. Let's say we want to use that color over and over again in our document. What you can do is you can create what's called a swatch. Now to do a swatch, let's say I want this peach color here. If I select it, I can move it in my swatch panels and I can use this little fly out here that says new swatch. And it uses my foreground color that we've picked with the eyedropper tool and I can call this BYOL Peach. Click OK. Now what it'll do is you'll see him just appear in the end of my little swatch panel here, and it means that I get to reuse that when I need to. Let's say that I want to, I'm gonna switch it back to black and white. I'm gonna use my rectangle tool, I'm gonna to draw a rectangle and it's gonna be black. But what I can do is I can use this little drop down and you'll see there's my peach color at the end of my swatches. And I can reuse that color over and over. Now, I love to share, so I've made a few of these videos free. Of course, though, I'd love for you to go on and do my full course of over 50 videos. There's a discount code in the description. Please like and subscribe, and hi to our good YouTube people. Now, I'm saluting and waving, but you can't see that, can you?